Hope is a hell of a thing. I remember that first week, thinking the military should roll through any minute. Restore order to the world. Hope got me through that. The first time that Hetty showed up but didn't land, hope is what made me think it'd be back. But now? What is there to have hope for? I've seen the horrors of this, of this world. Horrors of the downtown area. Damn near got myself killed. This world has been taken by the dead. With little hope to take it back. It's been three months and 21 days now. My watch still has the date. Not a single soul has come through here. Am I all that's left? Am I the only hope? Is there even any hope left? So on what officially feels like the first day of summer in, well, outside my house is officially the first day of winter in Bridget's on board. We get our first days of snow and it looks wonderful. Welcome back to the channel. It's Warren here and today we are kicking off in our little booze van house. So at the end of last episode, we were pushing up this way, got to this point, attempted to take a taxi and that taxi pretty much ruined all of our progress. Classic fashion. There was a car alarm. But I think today what I would like to do is head back there. I want to know what damage it's, it's actually caused and whether it's made this place just a hellhole and this place safe or both of them are still equally unsafe and we're pretty much going to get screwed no matter what direction we go in. But that is the way that I want to go and that is the way that I want to figure it out. It could be pretty dicey. It could, could end up with just another slaughter an episode which i'd quite like to get past but at the same time you gotta do what you gotta do so i mean there's only one way to find out and that way is pretty much going head on into a whole world of mess but i think it should be fun i'm quite excited for it so let's get back to the point that we were yesterday i'll skip out all of these little kills along the road shouldn't be anything too crazy but you've seen that a million times you don't need to watch it again I just got a back-to-back -back hunter knife thing in one little group. That is why short blunt is a hell of a thing. Don't sleep on it. I know, I know I'm always mixed opinions on it, but it's a tank of a skill. So the, the weapons are so replaceable, it's unreal. But yeah, we're getting pretty close to the taxi and it doesn't seem like it's done too much damage, which is nice. There's a couple of extra groups, but nothing we can't really handle, which is wonderful. I did break off the garden fork, but that little warehouse just on the corner there had enough wood glue in there to be able to restore it to its former glory. So, spear level four, here we come. I'm ready for you. So I would very, very much so like to max these out because these are another completely replaceable weapon. Any tree branch you find can be turned into a spear, and tree branches are pretty much endless. There's no way you're clearing out every single tree just in nature. And you're definitely not clearing out 100% of every single foraging opportunity without having enough tree branches to last you forever and more, even if you burn them all. Spears are great, I won't lie. Might be a little bit sketchy. Situations like this, if you get one big stab, you could end up screwing yourself over, but they are a wonderful skill. Just like that. Yeah, don't do that. If you're using spears, make sure it's head on. Otherwise, yeah, could end up very dead very quickly, which is not very nice. Get them in there, lads. They're also pretty good at herb management. Something I change my opinion on a lot, but once your skill gets a little bit higher and you start getting some bigger stabs, they're a bit of a game changer. Maybe if our panic wasn't so high, it'd be a little bit better, but we'll switch up to old reliable. Can't beat the hunting knife for herb management, that's for sure. It's got just enough range and just enough knockback to, to make life great. <laughs> Even when you do get sneaky zeds grouping up behind you. Come on, lads. Keep it in front. I don't want no flankers today. Trust me, I'm on to you all. Easy does it. Don't like that exhaustion already. Oh, 
Okay, and let's whoa, straight into another herd and into a tree. Not what we want at all. I reckon dip straight into this building. Rest up, head out the front door and take them out properly. So I don't really want to be taking Zeds out whilst exhausted. It's not, not worth it at all, really. I won't lie to you. Give him a fella. I know you can see me. Wait. Ah, oh, you're all coming through. Okay, sound. Even better. Oh, we're gonna take out the front door. I can hear him behind me. Oh, it's the crawler. Bless her. She did well. She came a hell of a long way. Beautiful. Another one bites the dust. All right, let's get both of these unlocked just whilst we're here. Don't really want that kerfuffle again. Um, garden fork territory. Kind of spoke for itself there. Let's get rid of you. Replace you straight out for you. And I think we still got like 11 in there. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. But I'm not going to question it one bit. Come on, ladies and gents. I want one big stab. There we go. It's nice when you call it and it actually works. Almost makes these episodes sound a little bit more scripted, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Come on, fellas. That's the swipe I was looking for. So sometimes you're getting just like a hell of a streak of those swipes and you just clear a herd in a matter of seconds. Ridiculous. They don't start to get more consistent until like level 5, but as soon as they do, pretty much an unstoppable spear slayer machine. Right, if we can completely conquer this whole area in, what, two episodes? I'll take it as a win. Yeah, those streaks. That's exactly what I was looking for. Beautiful. Um... Never checked to see if that had a key either, I don't think. I don't think I quite got in the car. Can't remember. It's been a very, very busy weekend. Kind of lost track of just about everything. Lovely job. Um, any more sat by the wall? No, we're good. We are good. Yeah, no key. Oh, I did make it inside. Yeah. I remember now. Um, nope, 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 nope. I hate that you can't cancel that. That. That was horrendous. <laughs> and we didn't get bit. I've no idea how. But I'm never matching that luck again. Honestly, I'm lost for words. It's a rare sight that I'm lost for words, but that is exactly what that is. <laughs> okay, let's slow things down a touch. He says, walking right into a huge head. Oh. That's what I mean. That right there. Prime example of why spears are a completely slept on skill. Should just call this episode Spears. Feels like all I've spoke about today. <laughs> oh. Apart from the exhaustion. The exhaustion's the only killer. But that's where your old pal, the hunter knife, comes back in to save the day. 
You're gonna be nice. Gonna go down nice and easy. I'd like to get rid of this guy too. Save the doors and all that. Don't think we're gonna have any luck. Can we? There we go. Spear is just that little bit longer. Beautiful. Move the bastard glass, hop straight in. Get these doors open as a little little safety net. Um oh, I don't like this. Ah, straight to the roof. Okay, I like this slightly more. That could be a good safety net too. So roofs are, are kind of risky, but sometimes just save you. Definitely saved my life a few times, but they have also got me killed. It's quite a hard one to gauge, but I'll never sleep on a roof. That's what happens when you miss time your chin stabs, folks. Let's get out of here before more come down. Don't really want to play that game today. Okay, how are we looking over here? With any luck, all of our barricades haven't been torn down. Certainly sounds like they're working on it though. They're making pretty short work of it too. Uh, beta blockers. Hopefully that clears the tube and we can get that point one back. Nah. Why are there so many? Why are car alarms a thing? I do wish you could turn them off. I wish. Because pretty much every car has a fuse that links straight to the alarm. And if you pull that fuse, the alarm just dies. I wish that the higher higher understanding you had of maybe electronics and mechanics, you'd be able to just pull the plug. And then you'd be able to set up trap, trap car alarms, if that makes sense. That would be quite cool. There's any modders out there? Trap car alarms could be your next big break. <laughs> so I think, imagine that for online as well. Multiplayer, setting up trap cars, just toying with other people's bases would be unreal. Kind of tempted to learn it and pull that in myself. That'd be quite cool. Would be quite cool. All right, let's take out the rest of these guys and do the rounds. There's going to be quite a few Zed Stanner. That car alarm definitely did us dirty, but it seems that, at least this side, our metal barricades are still up, which is good. They can take a hell of a beating, so fingers crossed they do last. It's starting to get dark, so I think I might clear this last group and then head back to that corner house, just to save you guys straining your eyes. But, so far, we do look pretty good. If any like the rain will be stopped tomorrow as well, and we aren't heading straight into a thunderstorm. This could be the last rain of the season though, so should really make the most of it. Come on, fellas. It'd be quite nice to get a bed up here if we can fully secure the place. Lovely job. We'll have one quick sneak peek around the front. Looks pretty hectic. Okay, I'm gonna head back, get some sleep, and then try again tomorrow, I think. Wouldn't mind getting over there. We can secure some snacks. That'd be quite nice. More chips than area. So we're down to 69 weight. It's dropping rapidly. I kinda need some rest and relaxation, I think. A little base day, fish loads, eat a whole ton of food, and just basically restore him to his former glory. He's doing well out here for the most part. 
We just need to keep on top of it as we go. All right, let's go get some sleep. Okay, first impressions. Front side doesn't look too bad. Got a tiny little group this side. Tiny little groups around in the front door. And I believe there's some more down the left side. But yeah, from what I can see, this could be pretty cruisy. They have, however, destroyed one of those garage doors, which I'm not very happy about. So I love holding on to them, but I'm guessing we're just gonna have to block that off with wood. I'm sure it'll be all right. There's plenty of crates in there. We can always just disassemble a ton of them, build up some walls and doors, and yeah, just get things a little bit more secure, I guess. So there's a wall I wanna build just opposite anyway, so. Christ. Looks away from the screen for a second. <laughs> but yeah, some walls I want to build anyway, so if we can round up some wood, that'd be ideal. Come on, fellas. That guy's doing stupid things like that again, please. Couple stragglers coming in from the rear. Ah, quite a few. Feels like we pulled an entire group behind us and in front of us, all at the same time. Ooh. Got another game of bread knife or machete coming in. What you got for us, my lady? Be even nicer if you were a nice quick takedown. Completely lost there. This is a brown coat. Let's just dip back a touch. Come on, Garden Fork. You did me so well yesterday. Count on you to have the same results today, my friend. Quite feel like it's paying off, really, does it? <laughs> ah, there we go. That's what we like. When she plays ball, she plays ball. When she breaks off, she is no more. I've already already repaired it. You're going for the level two repair. Just isn't really worth it sometimes. Not with the limited amount of wood glue. Ah, where's our old brown coat gone? Is she in here? Yeah, there she is. A bread knife. But a two-way radio. Thank you, ma'am. We'll keep that battery, though. Be able to repair these cordless drills forever at this rate. The amount of batteries we have is simply unreal. We're slowly working on that level four electrical, too. It's not a skill that I'm probably ever going to use, but I kind of want to make this guy just the jack of all trades, but the master of everything rather than the master of some. There we go. Sure, there was another hunting knife in there. There's gonna be another hunting knife in you if you're not careful. Sneaking up on me like that. There we go. Lovely job. Another job jobbed. Yeah, a handful around the outside. Doesn't look like any buster barricades. We boarded this place up at the perfect time, is all I can say. This place could have been an absolute hellhole trying to get through. Yeah, on, my lady. Wonderful. Looks like we might have lost one barricade. Oh, that looks very pointy for a bread knife. You can just never tell. <laughs> you know what I haven't used today? This old thing. Yeah, my fellas. Oh, that didn't sound good. Let's try and level them out in this corner a bit. like it. A little bit too clustered for me. Ah! <laughs> so much for a nice easy day. Let's just drop back again. Just kind of like stick and move there really. Do not want to be taking risks. There we go. That's a bit better.
Come on, give me some breathing room. There we go. All it takes is that first little downfall, and you're all good. Easy does it. There we go. Lovely job. Um, should we just do all of these watches? Ah, so there are a lot more than that, but that's all good. March Ridge map. Not a chance. Am I taking that bait? Not a chance. You can keep it. See ya. Alright, should we see what's left? Probably quite a few. And probably a couple of broken windows. Definitely heard one bit of glass shatter. Whether they made it the whole way through that barricade or not. Different story, but I would not be surprised. There's no way they gave up just from the busted window, that's for sure. Ah, they might have just not, not had enough time. See ya. Ah, it feels deadlier and deadlier going that way. I think that's the aftermath of our uh, attempt at a shotgun run. So we did somewhat come through this way. So a lot of the Zeds could be sort of on the back burner. Guess to them, I am the straggler. Not anymore. Soon to be a region known master among the dead. See ya. And another hunter knife into the roster. Thank you, ma'am. May as well take the spear whilst we're at it. He's got a March Ridge map too. It's like they're trying to pull us there. Maybe one day. Oh, no way. Didn't think we'd pull all of these guys out. I certainly didn't think that barricade would still be standing. We can actually sprint around this whole place now, though. All of this for a damn warehouse. I mean, it's a very, very valuable warehouse, but still. What are we up to? 7, 5, 10. It's a lot of Zeds. I think we were on 6, 8, 8, 8. When all of this began. It's done well. It's almost a thousand Zeds by hand in two days. I'll take it. <laughs> Absolutely take it. Uh, I need to stay well away from this billboard for that reason. Give me the fellas. Right, let's drop back. Ah, just in time. Just in time for the exhaustion. Brilliant. Spear lasts two seconds. I think one thing I would like to do today before before the day's out is shift some gear up here. If I can make today just like one or two crates fully available on the inside. I could even take them upstairs. I reckon we're probably at a good spot to do it now, to be fair. Yeah, I don't think any more Zeds are gonna aggro this way. Make sure our surroundings are clear, though. Did you just steal a knife? I am on to you, girl. I'm not happy. Uh, where did that Zed go down this way? Come back. Oh. Folded like a deck chair. You just... Just went all out and broke the knife. Fair play. Can't argue that. All right, let's get ourselves inside. Let's drag a couple of crates upstairs and set up a little safety net, I guess. Doesn't look like any Zeds are in here. 
Always a good sign. Yeah, I think. Got a good bit of gear up here as well. I think I'm going to make this little platform. I can't remember what they're actually called, but there is a name for it. This little platform, our safe space. So if I can clear out a couple of crates, drag them up top, we should be alright. Kind of hoping that's the one behind us. Ah, oh, that's going to really bother me. There we go. Weird OCD. <laughs> Alright, let's get ourselves upstairs, get these settled in, and then go and grab some gear. I think I'm going to try and take the car. See if we've got it clear enough to be able to drive in and out. That'd be nice. Be a nice fit to start. There we go. Lovely. And I think once we're back, get in a bed and maybe even just some more food should be the next goal really plenty of houses down there that we can loot through which is nice and they do have a decent stockpile of food so they've sort of been the saving grace of this run so far dipping back to there grabbing food and heading back has just been a game changer it really has right, let's go get the rest of our gear i think i did unintentionally pull a little group down to us yeah might as well take care of these guys before they're a problem. The last thing I need is to be heading inside, filling up our bag, getting ourselves at pretty much 50 carry weight and getting stung. Would not be ideal, that's for sure. God, tons more of them. Come on, lads. Kind of want it to be in and out. Not dealing with you guys. See ya. We're all loaded up in the car. It all looks pretty good. We got maybe 15 boxes overall, shotgun shells plus a fully loaded shotgun. Now, a couple of episodes ago, good old William, our uh, mounted police training builder man, pointed out one of these two. I'm not sure which, but one of them is a police station. Now, these could be a pretty solid saving grace for what we want. So we are currently up here. That's not too far, and this area between is pretty clear. I think before I head any further into town, I wouldn't mind just heading back here, grabbing what gear we can, bringing it up to this little forward base, and then we do have a proper f like backup stockpile if we need it. So I think when we do come to doing this, I'm going to try and limit it to this area, pull out what we can, and then try and dart off maybe down this way, double back, and end up back down by the booze van. I think that's the best way, but getting that extra gear could be a lifesaver. It really could. And I don't want to keep pulling from our already founded stockpiles because they're sort of to get us out of a, of a jam down here. I mean, they will definitely come in handy when we start pushing this place properly. But for now, I reckon getting back down to wherever we were, just down here, could be the one. Could be the one. So we'll slap a circle on both of them just so I don't forget about it because, well, you know what I'm like. But yeah, for now, we can at least pull all of this gear forward, get ourselves set up just inside and kind of make room for future future plans, really. Let's do it. Couple of Zeds here waiting for us, but hopefully we can sneak the car in and pick them off before it's a problem. Especially before we get stuck. The car looks so yellow in here. It looks lovely. Aside from that little bit of blood in the front. It looks like a very clean car. Oh, we're finally coming into the season with that mod. To add the snow around the bottom, it's coming into its own. I'm excited for that. I've been very reluctant to remove it, just for that reason. Yes, and they didn't like the noise of that car. There we go. Beautiful. Get on, fella. Take you down as well. Nice. Very good, very nice. Let's go set up shop. Kind of want to get that wall built as well. Maybe not today, but... We'll definitely do it before we do anything next episode. Right, let's just clear out what we got. Maybe take the machete up there as well. We could probably repair it whilst we're at it. 
to duct tape. She'll do nicely. She'll do nicely. I wonder if we could get a rooftop farm down here. I suppose we don't really need it. This isn't really going to be a, a permanent base, I don't think. So it's kind of a forward base central down there lately. Lovely. All right, well, I think on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you just there. So I think next episode, I'm going to do a tiny bit down here, get rid of the stairs, build a couple of sheet ropes either side, get this place pretty much set up to be locked down. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks for member support on the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.